We want to say thank you to all of you who have been sharing your photos of the snow with us from earlier today. So many great photos from up north. If you're hoping for snow down in the lowlands, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Some of us are not waiting for that. Wow. <laughs> We're pretty happy we didn't get some snow down here, but it's so yeah. pretty out. Yeah. It is pretty, right? Uh, and for those who are not a fan of the lowlands, no, don't worry. I think this morning, if you didn't get it, you probably are going to wait a while until it okay. happens again in the okay. lowlands. We'll see snow levels a little higher throughout the week. They're still going to be low enough that we're going to keep a lot of the past snows to keep falling. However, Ed, over the past 24 hours, Boy, we picked up quite a bit of snow. Stevens Pass at about a foot. Crystal Mountain just under a foot. Snow Calmy Pass, seven inches. White Pass, a little less at three inches. We expect the amounts to continue to pile up. And by the end of the week, and heading more so by the end of the weekend, uh, we can add maybe another foot, maybe foot and a half to two feet of snow in some of these locations. First, let's talk about those snow levels and how they will go back and forth over the next few days. Tonight, they're continuing to rise, so they're getting up to about 5,500 uh, feet tonight before starting to drop again into the day tomorrow and then down by uh, Thursday around 1,000 feet. Then they climb again, so Saturday expected to be a little higher, up around 4,000 feet, and it's Saturday that we have our system that's going to be the wettest of them all here as we go throughout the week. So the next few are going to be kind of light relatively speaking in the moisture department, but still enough that we're going to put down a good amount of snow into the mountains. Five, uh, 5,500 feet for that snow level tonight. Fog, maybe a few light showers down to 4,000 tomorrow and then continuing to drop to 2,000 as we head on into Wednesday. Probably travel not the best idea, especially as we go tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning. 44, mostly cloudy skies in Seattle and that fog and mist that we're expecting up into the mountains and across the passes already here in Seattle looking at the waterfront and it's going to be a dreary night ahead. Temperatures low to mid 40s. Temperatures trying to climb a little farther to the north. They'll climb maybe a degree or two as we go into the night as we have this warmer air mass moving in, but a lot of us are already at our overnight lows. Skies are featuring a bit more of those showers as you go farther south and west along the coast, but now it's starting to turn more to the off and on shower activity that we are seeing as you go farther to the north and east as well, closer to Puget Sound and heading up into uh, the foothills. Otherwise, though, a lot of this will start to taper on off. As this system moves on out of here, next one comes in behind that, and that's going to help to produce the heavier rain and some of that mountain snow that we're expecting by tomorrow night. Here we go into tonight and early tomorrow morning. A few spotty showers, maybe a few even sun breaks by the early half of Tuesday, but then clouds thicken back up into Thursday or Tuesday afternoon. Then we'll see this really start to take over with showers along the coast up into the Olympics. We're expecting to see snow there. Snow really breaking out across the Cascades after tomorrow night at midnight and then going on into early Wednesday before that starts to push out out of here by Wednesday afternoon and I was talking about some good snows on the way. We're talking between about a foot to a foot and a half closer to two feet in Stevens Pass as we're expecting 21 inches of snow there. Tomorrow probably going to be the warmest day here of the week as we'll start to see those temperatures drop between the low to mid 40s for the remainder of the next seven days. Some drier days expected, especially on Friday, but otherwise it looks like it's going to be pretty wet on through the weekend. Thanks, Adam.